Well, again, let me say uh, how much respect and admiration I have for both Fidel and Hugo. In the first and second years of my administration, 2006-2007, uh, their help with social policy, the uh, miracle vision, uh, support for our productive sector, uh, support for small-scale projects in Venezuela was so important for consolidating the change uh, in Bolivia. And it really does um, pain me that um, that uh, Fidel Castro is no longer president, and uh, particularly as well now that uh, my brother, President Chavez, is in a very difficult spot with his health. And I remember both of them told me, Evo, you have to look after yourself. You have to rest. And now, and, and they were telling me to rest, and uh, and I didn't. Uh, I wasn't listening to them. And now I do see that uh, they weren't uh, resting either. And we've been uh, speaking with uh, the the doctors. He, they tell us he's resting. He's still under treatment. We've spoken with the family. Uh, the family is uh, strengthened, of course. The, the fact that uh, President Chavez is back in uh, Venezuela is strengthening them all. Uh, the day before yesterday, I w went to an intercultural uh, farmers' uh, event, and all of the leaders that spoke there. Uh, uh, expressed uh, their thanks for this organization, but above all, they said, well, fortunately, our brother Chavez is back in uh, Venezuela. Our brother Rafael Correa has been reelected in Ecuador. When presidents uh, are, are part of historic century uh, one, once in a century uh, changes, people recognize this work of presidents and commanders in Latin America and the Caribbean. And I hope that President Chavez will soon once again be at the helm of uh, the Bolivarian Revolution in Venezuela, uh, as always serving his people.